Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, please hit that subscribe and notification button. Today we are doing our January empties. So we're going to talk a little bit about a couple of things. What I thought of them, what I used them again, what I purchased them. You know the deal. So the first thing I want to talk about is this aromatherapy sleep from Bath and Body Works. This is a shower gel. Um, it has got a little, they call it a smooth... A smoothing body scrub it has very fine um has very fine grit to it so it does exfoliate this stuff smells so good and it's fabulous um i will repurchase this all the time i have the the lotion the spray the there's like a pillow spray um it's very soothing and relaxing so i i enjoy this a lot especially when i can't get to lush to purchase they off also have like a I think Lush calls it sleepy time or something like that they also have a very similar similar formula and I enjoy that as well so the next thing I want to talk about is actually two things so this is the Harry's shave cream this is all I use to shave now two bottles um, I would repurchase, yes, because I'm really enjoying it. Um, I like I like how um, soft it makes my legs, and yeah. And we have like 50 bottles of it because it was on auto shipment for a while. Okay, the next thing I have in here is the Aveeno Baby Soothing Relief Moisturizing Cream. This was recommended by my pediatrician. I have very sensitive skin. Um, and actually, I have been using it. I have a spot um, on this tattoo. It's a little bit rough. Just, it's kind of like one piece of it doesn't want to he quite heal yet. And I have been using it on that. It is fabulous. I've already repurchased this. So, what else we got? I'm trying to stick to some moisturizers. So I have once again another Purity empty bottle of Purity face wash. You guys know how I feel about this. It's very gentle on my skin. Um, I enjoy it. I have lots of samples of it. So I don't know that I would buy a full size of it because there's actually a Murad face cleanser for adult acne that I really 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 like. I just haven't purchased it because I have so many of these. But this is nice. If you're looking for a gentle cleanser, this is perfect. Um, also, I have my It Confidence in a Cream Anti-Aging Armor um, little sample. Uh, yeah, it it's eye cream. I, I have to be perfectly honest and say that for eye creams, I have not used one yet that I can tell a noticeable difference in, and maybe that's because I switch them out too frequently. Uh, I don't know. So the next thing I have in here, I had a sample of the Sunday Riley Brightening Enzyme Water Cream. It's called Tidal. This was really good. Um, I do like Sunday Riley stuff, and I and I think it works well. It's so expensive. It's just so expensive. I. I just think there's some other options out there that are less expensive um, that could do just as well. So, um, I also have another body wash in here. This is from Carez. It's pure Greek olive oil shower gel. And it's got like, I think this was like the rose one or something. I don't know. I got these little, I got it for Christmas maybe? My mom gave it to me? Anyways, I, I know this came from QVC. No, HSN. Okay. I have one more moisturizer in here, and I really do like this one. This is the Sunday Riley CEO Brightening Cream. I really, 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 really like this one. I had a big bottle of this. It came in an Allure box one month. Um, it lasted me, I don't know, about four months. So when you consider four months for something that costs about $80, it's not horrible, but ooh, I just, it's like the sticker shock. There's perfect things for you to, if you really like that stuff, to spend your um, Sephora uh, coupons and stuff on. So, 
The next thing I have, I did not use up. We're going to talk about it. And for some reason I have the box. I had a little deluxe sample of the It Brow Power. Mm-hmm. Well, here's It. So first of all, I used it a couple times. It wasn't bad. It was pretty good. But then this, which is the the pencil, right, got stuck in the lid. Wouldn't go back in. Made me mad. Threw it away. Said you're in the empties. Not really empty, but junk. That would infuriate me. If I bought an eyebrow pencil, and this is not the first time this has happened with it. If I bought an eyebrow pencil and the the pencil itself came out before I got to use it. Hello? You have a flaw. Okay. I'll stop ranting. Um, this is my MAC. Is it high dimension mascara? So it's still got stuff in it, but it's dried out. It's, it's, it's just not doing its thing. And I'm not necessarily a fan of these kind of spoolies. So, not really done, but it's it's done for me. How's that? And a little sample of my Brush Love brush cleaner from IT. I do like this a lot. Um, but I also like the Real Techniques brush cleaner. And, you know, there's cheaper options. Um, okay. This is a foundation. It is the Hourglass Immaculate Finish. It's one of those liquid powder foundations. It's mattifying oil free. It was lovely. I really did enjoy this. Um, I actually have it on my um, list, my wish list, whatever you call it, on Sephora because I liked it so much. And then lastly, I have a little perfume from um, Cara. Lena Herrera. This is the Good Girl Perfume and I loved it so much that I got a bottle of it for Christmas and isn't that fabulous. It is a shoe. It is a shoe. It's wonderful. It smells, smells absolutely wonderful. My husband bought that for me for Christmas. So that is our January empties and I'm sure There'll be many more this coming month because I'm so close on so many things being in. All right, guys. I love you so, so much. Thank you for watching, and I really hope you enjoy my empty videos. And, um, yeah, we'll see you next time. Mwah.